I chair medicine at Singularity University and run a program called Exponential Medicine. And we look at how do we bring technologies together to reinvent health and medicine. And one example was inspired by Star Trek. There used to be the Star Trek tricorder where Bones McCoy or Spock would go whoop. Well, now there's a competition, a $10 million prize called the Qualcomm Tricorder X Prize. And over 400 teams have put together an idea of a real medical tricorder. And this is one of the finalists a company called Scanadu, it's called the Scanadu Scout, and this is something you'll have at home, okay. and maybe every day or every week, if you're feeling good, you hold this to your forehead, it talks to your smartphone, it records your temperature, your blood pressure, your heart rate, how good your oxygen is, your blood, and starts to record kind of a base information. And um, uh, we'll show you this. And this is an example of lots of technology coming together that will enable you, instead of just having you know, a thermometer at home, you can have a whole set of information coming to your smartphone. So this will talk to my smartphone, bring up my blood pressure, my heart rate. I have a different level of normal numbers than you do. So that's good for tracking my health. But let's say I have a fever and have some, have some symptoms. I'll use this to record the information, answer some questions, maybe check my urine or my blood, and will be used together with your medical team to do a better job of doing diagnostics, of triage, and when you have a disease, helping manage that in smarter ways from home as opposed to having to always come back to the clinic or the hospital. So this is one technology that many folks are building versions of that has smart design also. You know, it's beautiful. It looks kind of like, a, like an Apple device. Um, other things I have in my pocket uh, would be a little 3D printed version of me. 3D printing is getting very advanced, very inexpensive. You can have a 3D printer at home for about 1,000 US dollars. Now, how might you use that in healthcare? What if you have a fracture and you need to have a cast? Well, what if we could 3D print the cast that matches exactly your anatomy? This one's not built for me, but imagine it was scanned my arm and printed to match exactly your, your arm, right? So that's another example of how 3D printing will be used. So many of these things that used to be very expensive and hard to do are coming to our homes and again can empower all of us to be part of our medical and health team, not just waiting to go to the doctor. Amazing. Thank you very much. Okay.